percent of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. It's moving the whole revolution forward. Got it. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of 24 Hours Crypto. Let's get right into today's video. I came across something extremely disturbing that I want to share with you guys and also go over some calculations that just are, you know, undisputable and why XRP is a better investment than buying Bitcoin right now in 2024. And this iconic, legendary video by Mr. Da Vinci Jeremy talking about Bitcoin update. Just buy $1 worth of Bitcoin, please, back on May 9th, 2013. We're going to go back to May 9th, 2013. We're going to go and see how much Bitcoin we could have obtained for $1 and how much XRP we could have obtained. And in the long run, what is the winner? And this video, like I said, undisputable, math doesn't lie, facts are facts. Just like $100 XRP will happen, logically speaking, we did the math calculations. It has to scale, the price must go up. There is no other alternative way to scale the system by putting more value into it. Sit back, relax. But first, I gotta show you the disturbing video, okay? So please, I, I have to play a warning because this may irritate some of you. It's, it's, it's funny. But take a listen. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Do you own XRP? Do you buy XRP? And you're wondering, am I doing the right thing? Well, I'm telling you, no, you're not. <laughs> you need to get rid of this thing. Here's why, right? You can see that the chart here, during the bull run, right, we ran up just a little bit into March, up to 70 cents, and then we collapsed back down heavily, almost like a 50% drawdown from, it was close to 80 cent actually, and it went down to 40 cents. Now, this is consolidating down, unlike all the rest of the cryptos. So what are you doing holding XRP? It's not even really a crypto. It's not even really a crypto. It's not even really a crypto. Isn't it incredible? There's gotta be more to it. Maybe a mental illness or some sort of hatred towards XRP. He's, he's a great guy, you know, but it just doesn't make sense of why you would make a video like that. It gets 100,000 views and retail coming in, they're already uncertain. And he is pretty much leading retail investors from actually a real asset with fundamental value that will push the price of it. It doesn't make sense. So let's just look at how smart this genius is, if we were to put a dollar into Bitcoin, okay? Because that's the only thing he said. And why putting a dollar into XRP, no, not $1, $100 is XRP right now, because we're not living in 2013 anymore. $100 XRP will go a long way as well. Stick around, you, know, you do not wanna miss a second of this. This will give you a really good perspective on the whole crypto ecosystem. And honestly, who to listen to? Here we have Bitcoin, May 12th, and his video was on May 9th. So May 12th, $115 exactly, okay? And let's do the math and how that would look like. And XRP wasn't here yet. XRP came a couple months later, and we also have the price as well. But take a look at this. So the Flutter breakdown. The price of Bitcoin at the time was $115. You invested $1. This is back on May 9th. 2013. The amount of Bitcoin you would have received is 0.008. And that is valued today at $561. That is incredible because it is a better return on investment than what XRP is providing right now. The price of XRP at the time was 0.005. And if you had invested $1 into XRP, you would have received 170 XRP totaling $98.53 as of today. So Da Vinci right now is much better with his advice back in 2013. But 
you got to notice that you got to know the difference between a utility asset and a store of value asset is what they're labeling Bitcoin as a store of value asset like Bitcoin. Wait, we'll get to it. Just this is going to be incredible. OK, the perspective is incredible. Let's go to Bitcoin at five hundred thousand dollars XRP at thirty dollars. The amount of Bitcoin you have still from 2013 is 0.0087. The price of Bitcoin, 500,000. That value would equal out to $4,350. Bitcoin at $500,000. And in my opinion, XRP will go to $30 before Bitcoin goes to $500,000. I'm 99.9. 8.6 percent certain that will happen and the amount of xrp you have from to, uh, 2013 170 xrp price of xrp at 30 dollars 5100 dollars is what you're coming out with so you got a couple more hundred bucks in your pocket but check this out because things are going to get juicy Bitcoin at a million dollars, you need to see this perspective, XRP at $100. And I'm 100% certain that XRP will reach $100 before Bitcoin reaches a million dollars. Amount of Bitcoin you have is 0.0087. Price of Bitcoin, a million dollars. $8,700 if you still held on to that dollar Bitcoin you invested back in 2013. $8,700. Still great. But the amount of XRP you have, 170 XRP is at $100. That is $17,000. That is, you know, a couple more thousand dollars in your pocket that you could buy a lot of stuff with. Okay, again, we're not getting into detail of what you could do with the money. Okay, this is just to show you the perspective, the long term perspective of what he said and what he said about XRP recently. I'm gonna play that video again because it's just crazy. I'll play it in a second. But in terms of XRP going to $100 before Bitcoin goes to a million, you know, let's just say 21 million Bitcoin circulating on a conservative scale. Bitcoin, in my opinion, can it reach, you know, a million? Maybe, okay? I'm bullish on Bitcoin, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000. I believe it will go to those targets and those levels. Some of you guys may not agree with me. That is totally fine. We don't know. Okay, um, but a twenty-one trillion dollar market cap for Bitcoin is not crazy when you're talking about the whole ecosystem. You know, growing over you know one hundred and fifty trillion, two hundred trillion decades to come. Okay, years to come as well. We don't know. This this could be exponential, exponentially growth. Okay, like a massive parabolic upright XRP at a hundred dollars. Let's just say a hundred billion XRP circulating. That is only a $10 trillion market cap for XRP. And now you need to know the difference between a store of value like Bitcoin and an XRP. XRP actually provides a use case, a utility, right? That banks, financial institutions, payment companies could actually leverage. We're talking about expanding the to you know, tokenization, real estate. XRP is a working dog. It, is, it has a real use case. So for it to have a larger market cap than Bitcoin is 100% certain. Only a few will understand that, but please try to wrap your head around that. Bitcoin even sitting at, let's just say Bitcoin goes to a million, right? $21 trillion in Bitcoin, that's great. Okay, so now where is all the value of 97 trillion or you know, the more $200 trillion. These are where utility tokens are going to kick in, right? This is very, very important for you to understand. XRP will achieve $100. There is no doubt in that. Take profits on the way up. There's, that's the smartest way you could do. Take your initial investment out. You can less the, let the, you know, less. I cannot even speak right now. I do apologize. Let the rest ride. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. The markets are taking off. Can we see a, you know, a pullback? Maybe these markets are very volatile, but you guys understand the long-term perspective. You got nothing to worry about. You just need to mentally prepare for these ups and downs 
that humans weren't really doing them personally before, right? Bankers were doing it for us. We didn't really sit there and indulge all the feelings. We had a middleman do it. But for, for the first time ever, retail has the opportunity to get into an asset class and actually take control of their assets. This is very important for you guys to understand. So with that being said, we're gonna let Da Vinci take it from here in a moment. But if you guys wanna support the channel, we got some crazy, crazy stuff coming down the pipelines. We did launch a Patreon, which but take a look at the backdrop, which is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, just looking at this right now is pretty cool. You know, we got an individual saying, if it hits $3, I'm going to GTFO, meaning he's going to sell it all, get out. XRP is worthless because it's a utility coin without utility. Uh, it will never reach $10. And, you know, we have this guy saying, you guys have big, big time issues. Look around, remember the ad XRP token, blah, 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 nonsense. This is great. The scrapbook will be released you know, years from now, but it's gonna be amazing just flipping through those pages or even a PDF. But I think a scrapbook, having a hard copy of it would be more meaningful than a PDF. But if you guys wanna support the channel, we do have a couple tiers, link in description down below and take a listen to the most smartest man on, on the planet because he said buy dollar Bitcoin in 2013 and we just broke it down. That means absolutely nothing. This. There is, there is no value here. There is no intelligence here looking at it from you know now, right? And looking at where the markets are headed towards, we did the calculations, you saw it. This is worthless, worthless. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Do you own XRP? Do you buy XRP? And you're wondering, am I doing the right thing? Well, I'm telling you, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get rid of this thing. Here's why, right? You can see that the chart here, during the bull run, right? We ran up just a little bit into March, up to 70 cents, and then we collapsed back down heavily, almost like a 50% drawdown from, it was close to 80 cents actually, and it went down to 40 cents. Now, this is consolidating down, unlike all the rest of the cryptos. So what are you doing holding XRP? It's not even really a crypto. It's not even really a crypto. It's not even really a crypto. We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.